Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add animated background like this and also skin smooth to your project. So let's close this project, click new project, blank project. And I'm gonna add rectangle. And I'm gonna make this rectangle fill width and fill height. And this one is gonna be user. And let me duplicate this one. And this one is gonna, I'm gonna call background. And now it covers entire screen. So let me add also material. And first material is gonna be also user. And create new, um, create new material. So the next one is gonna be background. So, okay, let's go to user and this layer number. So I'm going to create new layer and this layer. So uh, the blue one is going to be background and the pink one is going to be user. So user layer is going to be on top of that background. And now this uh, rectangle, user rectangle have user uh, uh, layer and background has the background layer. So let's go to the user material, pick the shader type flat and go to advanced render options and disabled right to death. Also, I'm going to camera, texture instruction, segmentation, picking person, com coming back to the material and using camera texture for the texture and using for the alpha person segmentation. Let me switch to myself. Okay, now we need to add our animation sequence. So I'm clicking Add Assets and I'm clicking Animation um, Animation Sequence. And we have it. Let me pause for the second this project. So to create uh, the animation sequence, Oh, actually, by the way, I also have a Gumroad page where I sell different assets like eyelashes, aerial, princess filter, eye lenses, glitter, makeup, uh, highlight, and other eyelashes, big eyes. So there's many different projects. Uh, eyebrows, if you want to, if you could just check it out. So to create the animation sequence uh, files, I found a GIF file and then Using this uh, asset, uh, I mean this link, I reduce the size. I just upload it and then reduce it. It's like pretty simple. And then uh, also I, um, no, I actually use this size to reduce the size. And this one, I split the frames. So after I reduce the size using the optimize animated gift, I use this one and then I just upload it. And then I clicked uh, output image in PNG format and then split the frames. So I'm not going to wait that after you actually. So after I did that, I then download the frames as a zip file and it was ready. So I'm going to give you a link to these two files and also to my Gumroad. Uh, gum it's going to be those links is going to be in my um Telegram channel and it's going to be this folder assets animated background and skin smooth and in that uh, channel you can download this uh, folder and in that folder you're going to get those two GIFs and you're going to get those frames and also you will get the link to those websites that I used so in order if you want to check pick some other background so you can do it yourself okay so the link to the telegram is going to be in the description to this video. So let's come back to our project. And now I'm going back to the animation sequence. And now I'm choosing texture, new texture. So I'm going to the uh, desktop. And then I'm just picking this frames. All frames that we have. 
and clicking open. I'm waiting. So after these frames are here, you want to make sure to click no compression. And then and then the size of it got reduced from 12 megabytes to 355 megabytes. And now I'm going to our background material. I'm clicking flat. I'm picking an animation sequence. I'm going to advanced render options and disabling this to file. So let me so now you have this background like this. The next step is to add our skin uh, retouch. So I'm clicking add object. I'm searching for the face mesh. This is going to be our retouch. And now I'm clicking material, create new material. This one is also retouch. And I'm going and picking retouching. But it doesn't work, it doesn't show, so let me show you what you need to do. So you're adding one more face mesh and you name it face show. And then you're clicking plus and you click creating material and you name it face show. And it's going to be flat. And then you're going to the face tracker, clicking plus by the texture extraction and using this texture extraction for our texture. And it looks like this. But then there is a problem with the mouth and eyes. So you're going to the face tracker and you make sure that eyes and mouth are uh, enabled. And also there is a problem with the lines. So then you are dragging this face mesh mask. You're making sure there is no compression. And you are going to the, uh, alpha, to, again, back, back to the face show, clicking on alpha and putting this face mesh mask and it, it makes uh, lines disappear. So let me make it play. And it might, be that the gift that you picked, it might be too big and even after reducing the size, it's still too big. Then you go to the project, edit properties, and then you click compression. And then, for example, you can pick the, this type of resolution and click the quality like 50%. But you can play around just as an example I show you. Done. And then the file should become smaller. So here's how it plays. And then Let's check if this, so now it's file under 4 megabytes, so it's still are uh, allowed to get um, uploaded and also sent to the apps. It's still going to let me to send to the Instagram. And thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please like it. And if you're planning to use this assets, also please like it and subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to do uh, videos regularly, so you're going to be the first who's going to see my new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.